What's up, tribe? How you guys doing? This is going to be your review for Claws, the season finale. Uh, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I hope you like this video. So, y'all know I missed a couple of things here and there, but I think I got the, got the gist of it. So, we, we start this episode off. We wake up. It's Desna's birthday. Rolla's planning a big party for her. He brings her breakfast in bed. They have a nice little moment where they talk about running off to Havana. You know, he gives her a necklace and says, look, this is, you hold on to this. This is my heart. It's going to protect you. Blah, blah, blah. Right. You know, all of this is sort of premonition or foreshadowing of things to come. Then Desmond gets a text from, um, what's his name? Barry. What's his name? The, um, the mobster the Chinese mobster, telling her that he needs to meet with her. Now, this is where stuff starts getting kind of weird for me, right? She goes into the meeting. She takes Jen and um, Polly with her. And, of course, Polly is still in her feelings because I think I forgot to say that. We were talking about this on the live. They found out that Joe was married. So Polly is all in her feelings or whatever. And, you know, the bodyguard stops them, and he's like, look, um... The meeting is for you. The meeting ain't for you and your crew. So they're going to have to hang back. They, Desna, you know, they don't want to leave Desna's side, but they end up leaving Desna's side. Desna goes in. And who's sitting at the table with um with my man? What's his name? Barry? Bar I, I, it's not with a B. Anyway, Joe, right? Now, Joe's pissed off because he dismisses Joe, tells Joe, you go handle the girls. Joe was like, well, wait a minute. We supposed to be partners in this. Like, I, that was the deal. And he was like, you good? But right now, you know, you told me that you were jack of all trades. Okay, well, I need you over there now. So they sit at the table and doesn't, she's nervous because she's worried basically that he about to kill her. Instead of finding out from him what it would take for her and her girls to get out, she's digging deeper and basically saying, I can run the casino. I'm, you know, I'm what you need. I can, I, you know, and he's like, well, look, I don't really think you, you cut, you know, you cut out to do this. You know, you didn't even know, you know, did they tell you, did Mac and Melba tell you that they were trying to expand the casino and um, they were going to open up three more casinos? She was like, no. He said, see, that's what I'm talking about. A good business partner, you would have known that. So Desna is like desperate, like, no, I, I, I can do this. I can do this. I can run these casinos. I can run all three for you. You know, I, I have value. And he's like, look, I don't really think you can help me. So, next thing you know, Desna starts talking about how she can deliver the new governor. Because remember, they killed the old governor. And the new, the next governor of the state is going to be, they, everybody believes it's going to be Ann's brother. I got the inside scoop. I can deliver him. Look, you know, you can have the governor in your in your back pocket you know, just, I, I can run this casino, you know, I, I can deliver, and he was like, you really think you got that, you know, you got that connection, she said, yeah, I got that connection, and I'm sitting here thinking, Desna, for somebody who's trying to get out, you're digging yourself deeper, and you and Ann ain't in the best place right now, so what makes you think Ann is gonna go along with this, but I was like, okay, we're gonna wait and see how this plays itself out, then we see Joe, is at the table with uh, Polly and with Jen. And they basically, you know, Polly is being Polly. But they basically let the cat out. Jen lets the cat out the bag that Polly knows he's, that we know that he's married. And Polly was like, and he was like, oh, well, yeah, I mean, was this supposed to be a secret? I didn't know. You never asked. I didn't think it mattered. She was like, what you mean it didn't matter? Of course it mattered. He was like, well, I mean, we got an open marriage. She cool with me doing my thing. And she was like, you know, Polly was like, well, I'm not cool with it. So you're going to have to make a decision. Either you're going to rock with the woman you pay your bills with or the woman you kill with. He was like, all right, well, I guess this is goodbye. I was like, Polly, what made you think you could play that card? Like, what made you think that card? Honey. So, of course, that just tore Polly all the way up. But, I mean, you did it. She was like, that's not how to move. That's not how it's supposed to end. That's not how it goes in the movies. Baby, this ain't no movie, boo. This ain't no movie. Then Dean moses his happy ass right on back over to the motel and tells Virginia that, you know, he know he messed up and he ready to come back home, basically. And Virginia was, like, pretty much open arms, like, you know, well, I'm happy, you know, glad to have you home. And they end up having sex. And I was like, that was real easy. That was real easy, Virginia. But, okay, you know, you missed him, you loved him, and all that good stuff. So, 
everybody's back at the salon. Ann's not there. And they all wondering, you know, is anybody talk to Ann? Is Ann okay? And Desna is explaining to them how the meeting went or whatever. So then here comes Ann coming out the back. They all shocked to see Ann, but she was like, look, I got to keep busy. You know, it is what it is. Desna goes to talk to Ann. And she basically tells Ann what she needs. I need Basically, I need you to deliver your brother. Ann is like, are you kidding me right now? Like, you actually have the audacity to come to me and ask me to deliver my brother? Like, you want me to bring my brother into all of this? Like, are you serious? And Desna is like, Ann, I, I don't have any choice. Like, this is what's going on. And this is the only way that we're going to get, you know, that we're going to be able to, you know, do this. And she's like, Ann is like, are you like, and I'm thinking Desna, Everything that they accuse you of last week is what you're doing right now. Because again, I don't see you trying to find a way out. I see you trying to find a way deeper in. You want to run that casino. You want them in charge of the casino. And that's that's what you want. But Ann ain't there no more. All of that, whatever Desna needs is gone. You know, like that went out when Arlene got killed. So, that's, so our, you know, so Ann basically says, look, I think about it. But y'all know Ann ain't feeling it. Next thing you know, we got Desna and Roland in the back. You know, they all lovey-dovey. Who come busting through the doors? The police. The police coming to get Roller. Because remember, Toby then sold Roller out and told um, told the police everything um, that Roller did. And, of course, they're all shocked because they're like, what the hell is going on? They take Roller out of handcuffs, right? Take him out in handcuffs. Um, so... She's calling Uncle Daddy. She's calling around. She's trying to figure out what's going on. Uncle Daddy rolls up in there, and she tells Uncle Daddy what's going on. And they must have forgotten that they were in mixed company because then they start talking about, oh well, I thought we, I thought we got rid of the body. I didn't think nobody would find out. And they were like, Excuse. so wait a minute, hold on. So y'all did kill Clint? And Desna was like, well, Clint was the one that shot me or that shot at me. And so you know, um. You know, Virginia was like, that's who, that's who shot me in my eye. Like, that's what happened. So, um, the, the crew was kind of okay with it when they found out that's why it happened. But at the same time, they were just kind of like, what is, you know, like, like you, you know, you lied to us again. Like you didn't tell us something else you didn't tell us. And Jen peeped a, a look between Uncle Daddy and, um, Bryce. So she goes over and confronts them. She's like, look, what's going on that you're not telling me? Come to find out, they um, admit to to Jen that um, it was really Toby and that Uncle Daddy knew and that he lied to Roller. She was like, so, okay, so you lying to Roller again. Like, we're doing this all over again. We see Miss Ann. She meditating, thinking about it, trying to figure out her life. She makes a decision. I want to say, um, I want to say Desna called her or texted her or whatever. Um, no, but anyway, whatever happened, she decides to go to the police to try to turn the dirty cops in. Y'all know that before she could even leave the police station good enough, the, 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 the they done, um, contacted, um, the mob guy and the mob guy done went back to Desna and was like, yo, your girl is snitching. You need to handle it. So now Desna's like, come on. And like, you're making the situation worse. Roller calls Desna. They, she got the money for the bail. You know, he made bail, which I don't understand how he made bail, but okay, he made bail. Um, and that he was like, look, I don't know what they had with me, but they seem like they got a lot of information. It seems like they do know a lot. Um, Desna meets with Ann. And she's like, Ann, look, they know you went to the police. The only way we are going to get out of this, you already know they want me to kill you. Like, you already know that's what they want. But the only way that we're gonna get out of this is if you if you deliver your brother. Like that's it. Like that's the only way we're gonna be able to work this out is to deliver your brother. And you know, Anne was like, Well, you ain't really giving me much of a choice. She was like, Look, and I'm sorry, you know, I love you, blah, blah, blah. Everything I've ever done has been for you. And she was like, Anne was like, Look, I ain't really hearing it. And you could tell Anne is just not feeling this at all. But she agrees to do it. She was like, All right, fine, you know, tell them, you know, my brother will be there tomorrow to meet with them. So she's like, thank you, Ann. As soon as Ann agrees to do it, the phone rings as Roller, Desna runs off. And Ann is sitting there like, all right, you know, you got what you wanted and now you now you gone. Um,
I want to see. I want to make sure. Look, I'm trying to get it all in, y'all. I'm trying to get it all in. I'm trying to make sure I'm getting it all in. Um. All right. So they go. Oh, so Desmond gets back to the house. Roller's there. Roller's like, look, Des. They got a piece of my. He's talking about some of my eyebrow hair. <laughs> got a piece of my eyebrow hair, and they got a piece of your hair too. They just don't know what belongs to you yet. He was like, they got me. And Desmond's like, no. We're going to have to figure something out. We got to figure something out. She was like, we're going to have to just, you know, leave, leave the country. Like, there's really no way for us to get out of this. We're going to have to leave the country. And he was like, well, what about Dean? She said, um, we'll take Dean with us. He was like, what about your girls? He was like, she said, look, we're going to just say goodbye to everybody tonight at the party. And we just want to do what we have to do. Because at the end, of, like, we don't have no way out of this. Like, if they have you, they got DNA. And they have a witness because they still don't know who the witness is, but they know there is one. We got DNA and we got a witness. What else can we do? So, um, they agree that that's what they're going to do. They're going to leave the country, right? After the party, they're going to dip. And they're going to go down. Remember the whole Havana dream thing at the beginning of the of the episode where they was dreaming of going down to Cuba and having, what's that, mango mojitos? Well, that's the plan for them to go down and have some mango mojitos. Um, Dean. Oh no! Before we get to the party, Polly rolls up on Doctor. Um, y'all know who I'm talking about. Her doctor, the ex boyfriend. Now he answered the door in one of his little in the little skunk costume, so you already know he's doing his little cosplay with his girlfriend. But of course, Polly doesn't know that, and she's all crying and talking about how he broke her heart, and you know how could she be so dumb? And he's married, and this, that, and the other. And of course, y'all know this, uh, Greg, Doctor Greg, you know Doctor Greg. Anyway, that's all he's been waiting for all along. He been waiting for Polly to come back. So girlfriend comes from out back, you know, with a with a, a tray full of nuts, right? Because you know they, honey, they doing that old nasty stuff. And she was like, this is your ex? And he was like, yeah, you know. She said, um, Polly was like, well, maybe I should go. And he was like, nah, you good. So then the girlfriend was like, well, maybe I should go. Why he was looking at her like, maybe you should. <laughs> and so, of course, she gets mad and she stops off. But he been waiting for Polly to come back. But, you know, Polly just just using him in that, you know what I'm saying, in that moment because she's feeling, feeling some kind of way. But. Then we get to the party. We get to Desna's birthday party. Desna rolls up on Dean, and she's giving, you know how when somebody know they leaving, she said, Dean, you know, um, we've been thinking about going on a vacation. Why don't you go with us? He was like, what, we driving down to Orlando? Um, and she said, she said, well, maybe a little bit further than that. He said, well, no, me and Virginia just got back together. I want to stay here with her. You know, you and Rolla have a good time. And she was like, well, Dean, you know, you sure? She was like, I'm really going to miss you. And he was like, well, it's no big deal, you know. I'll see you when you get back. And so then she starts talking about how much she misses him and how much she loves him and everything. And Dean is like, um, you making me feel weird. Are you feeling suicidal? Like what's going on? <laughs> she said, no, I'm not. But you know, I just, I'm really going to miss you. I really love you. So Dean walks off and then you see her kind of slowly saying goodbye to everybody. You know, she's working the room and she's saying her goodbyes to everybody. And she gets to Anne, and again, Anne just is not feeling it. Like, you could tell Anne just is not feeling this shit. Um, you know, she's like, Anne, I love you. You know, we've been through so much together. And Anne is just like, she said, you know, you set the meeting up. She was like, you didn't really give me much choice. You know, like, you, again, there's no way that, that's not, I know, feels it and, under, and feels that Anne is not being herself. But I think she feels like she'll come around. You know, okay, she's. She's processing, but she'll come around. So they bring out the cake and they, and oh, no. Virginia breaks up with Dean. Dean is talking about getting married and everything. He thinks everything is back to normal. And, you know, Virginia's like, look, Dean, I love you and, you know, all of that. But right now with everything going on, this has been a really crazy year. I've been feeling all funky. I done got shot. You done broke up with me. All this stuff has gone on. I just don't know if. I'm I'm just not ready to be in the relationship right now. Like, I just need some time by myself. So, of course, Dean is pissed off. He was like, I'm not trying to hear that. That really hurts my feelings. That really bothers me. And she was like, Dean, I don't want to hurt you. But, you know, that's just kind of how I'm feeling. So, all these different things going on. They bring the cake out. They sing happy birthday. And 
Desna does this whole sappy goodbye. Because again, you know, she's talking about how much she loved her girls and how much she loved her crew and how, you know, they got they they're more than friends, they're family. And Polly and Jen are all smiling and stuff. Um, and is sitting behind her going, not feeling it. Next thing you know, um, Roller, Uncle Daddy, and Bryce want to take a picture. And they asked Jen to take the picture. Jen was like, so, um, did you tell Bryce? I mean, did you did you tell Roller what's up? And they were like, what you talking about? And Uncle Daddy was like, come on, Jen. Like, do we have to do this? She was like, mm-hmm, yep. Go ahead. Tell Roller. Go on and tell Roller what's up. And Uncle Daddy ends up telling Roller, baby. Roller throws Uncle Daddy in that cake, a perfectly good cake. It was a pretty cake, too. It messed up the man, the woman's birthday cake. And, of course, he commences to try to whoop Roller's ass. I mean, Uncle Daddy's ass. They, um, Desna pulls him off of um, Uncle Daddy, and um, they leave the party. They're riding down the road, and Roller's like, look, Desna, it's really only way out of this. Like, we can't do this. Us leaving town, like, you're not, you're not going to be no good without Dan. Us leaving town is not the answer. I just got to turn myself in. They got us dead to rights. Um, they, you know, if Toby is the witness... At this point, you know, we know he knows. Like, it's it's not, we know he has the information and he has the goods. He switched on us. There's really nothing I can do. He was like, but I'm not going to take you down with me. Like, if they keep investigating, then they were going to figure out it's you. But if, you know, if I take the, the blame, I can say that, you know, me and you, you know, we just got out of bed or whatever. And that's why the hair was still on my body, that it came from me. You ain't had nothing to do with it. And, you know, that's that. And so, of course, um... Desna ain't trying to hear it, but it's really nothing she could do about it. So Roller goes to turn himself in. Now, on the flip side, after all of this happened at the party, after the big old debacle, Anne is sitting at the bar with Joe. And they get to having a little, they get to commiserating over how horrible of a boss they have. And Joe was like, he's pissed off because he got iced out of the deal because he was supposed to be running the casino. Anne's pissed off because, of course, Anne's pissed off at Desna and, and what went down and Desna getting deeper and deeper into it. And her thing is, yeah, you know, and at this point, the enemy of my enemy is my friend, so to speak. They realize that they got some common enemies, which is pretty much the guy, the mobster, the mob, the, the, the mobster dude. And still pissed off at Desna, but she ain't forgot about the fact that he's the one that actually killed Arlene. Joe's feeling sidelined. He's pissed off because he's feeling double, like he was double, double. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Why I can't get it out? Double, double. Why well, I can't get the word out I'm trying to say, but y'all know what I mean. Anyway, so Desmond rolls up on Uncle Daddy and is like, look, you find Toby. I don't give a damn what you do. I don't care where you have to look. I don't care what what, what hellhole you have to go to, what strip club you got to go. You find Toby and you take care of it. And that was something that um, Rolla had said to Uncle Daddy when Uncle Daddy was like, I love you, I love you. And he was like, nah, if you would love me, Toby would already be dead. Which... Probably. It's pretty true. So they show Uncle Daddy riding all over town looking for um, Toby. Now, remember last week, Toby was saying he wanted to go into witness protection, and they were promising him witness protection. Next thing you know, we see Toby standing at some old no-tail motel and yelling at the police like, I thought y'all said I was going to get witness protection. What about my nose job? And he was like, what do you mean they tell y'all tell that to everybody? What do you mean you tell everybody that? So they done double-crossed Toby. Next thing you know, you hear a gun clock. Who is it? Uncle Daddy. And he's like, oh, daddy, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He was like, how did you find me? You know, he was like, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't deal with the guilt anymore. I just couldn't deal with it. And Uncle Daddy got the gun and, and is choking him like he's going to kill him. But he can't. He can't. He can't do it. And he tells him, you leave town. You leave town. Goes back to Desna, lies to Desna, tells Desna um, that he couldn't find Toby. And Desna was like, you, you good for nothing. Because at this point... That was the only thing that was going to save Roller. That was the only thing that was going to save him is if we could silence Toby. But, they, you know, as long as Toby's out there, there's a chance that Toby's going to testify. Now, of course, he can't tell Desna that Toby ain't coming back. Well, at least we think Toby ain't coming back. She said, never mind. Don't worry about it. I'll just go to plan B. Uncle Daddy was like, well, what's plan B? And she was like, don't you worry about it. I got it. He was like, let me help. Desna, please let me help. Then they done concocted this dumbass plan. Honey, this was so stupid. Roller's on the, the jail bus on his way down to 
wherever they taking him. They done rolled up. They got Polly land in the middle of the street, like, um, you know, like something's wrong. And Jen and um, Bryce and they stopped the car. I mean, they stopped the bus. Desmond shoots the one guard. Uncle Daddy shoots the other guard. They get on the bus. They let all the prisoners go, including, um, of course, obviously, Rolla. Rolla and Desmond roll off. They got a boat waiting for them with somebody that's going to change um, their names and give them new ID and all that stuff. And I'm like, well, if y'all was going to do this, y'all might as well have done it before you damn hijacked a whole bus full of prisoners. Like, I was like, come on, this is stupid. Like, I, I wasn't feeling this at all. I wasn't feeling this at all. But they ride off. They get to the dock. And Desna's like, I can't go with you. Um, you know, I just can't leave Dean. Uh, but I'll be there as soon as it's safe. I'll meet you there. And, of course, they have this whole tearful goodbye. Oh, I love you. I love you. That was stupid to me. Because if y'all was, if that was going to just run out of town, you might as well have done it before Roller turned herself in. But, okay. So, because Roller was like, we're going to be running the rest of our life. Where do you think you're going to be running now? With two dead damn um, police officers or correctional officers, where you think you're going now? You really gonna be running for the rest of your life. Back to the casino, Ann and Jordan concocted their own little plan where they just set the 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 Chinese guy up. She said her brother's coming. She was like, "But we need um, I need your phone and no security. Like you know, politicians they they real tricky about doing their little you know meetings. So of course he." He gave it up because he understands that. He said, you know, just so long as um we make this deal happen. So they leave him in the room. They lock him in the room. And they mess up the keypad so he can't get out the door. They evacuate the casino. They make an announcement. Now, I don't know why the dude didn't hear the announcement, but I guess Joe shut, it, shut down the sound system. I don't know. But they evacuate the casino and set the casino on fire. Now, here's what's interesting. They showed the guy in the room. They showed the smoke coming through the room, and they showed him not being able to get out. And, of course, he don't have a phone to call nobody. But they never showed the body. They never showed him dead. I'm just saying. Until I see a dead body, I don't think nobody did. That's all I'm going to say. But Desna gets a call from Dean just as she's watching Rolla float off into the sunset. Telling him that the um casino, telling her that the casino is on fire. She gets to the casino, the casino, the casino's in flames. Ann rolls up next to her and says, mm, "And I killed, I, I killed the Chinese mobster too." Desna said, "Too." She said, "Yeah." She said, "Ann, I can't. You did this. Why would you do?" She said, "Because, you, because you were getting in too deep. It was getting too deep, and you weren't going to do it." And so Desna is like, "I can't believe you did this." She was like whatever like you know you you would you would basically you was fucking up and and, it, and you weren't making it better you weren't fixing it so i did so now the casino's gone the chinese mobster's gone and i'm gonna go have my baby peace because there was definitely no reconciliation there and wasn't smiling and wasn't happy and wasn't like okay we good mm -mm. Mm -mm. nope so if there is a season four, honey, that is going to be an issue because I think a lot of season four is going to be all about Anne and Desna getting back, get, getting their relationship back. Of course, it's going to be what happens with Rolla is, you know, where did Rolla go? Did Rolla really leave? Did he double back? How they going to clear his name? Because like I said, at this point, it would have been one thing when he, when y'all ran off into the sunset and there was no blood on your hands other than Clint. But now, y'all done killed cops. Y'all got a jailbreak. Like, come on. So I don't know where we go from here. Um, but we'll see. If there's a season four, I'm sure they'll figure it out. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Drop it in the comments, please.